Welcome to the Massachusetts Educator Growth and Evaluation System, also known as the EGE. The system is a teacher-driven process that promotes ongoing dialogue about teaching and learning. This orientation module is designed to provide a broad overview of the system. Modules 2 through 7 provide a more in-depth exploration of the specific components on which the system is built. But for now, we'll focus on the big picture. As we begin, it may be helpful to have a copy of the teacher assessment rubric in front of you. You can find this on the Educator Effectiveness page of the ACLS website. This module is broken up into three parts that address the why, what, and how of the EGE. Upon completion of this module, you will have a better understanding of the system and be able to begin a dialogue with your colleagues about the answers to some questions like these. Why have an EGE system? Why is it so important? What is it? What makes up the system? How does it work? How do I even navigate it? There are many factors that impact student learning, many of which are external and beyond our control. Research, however, has shown that the single most influential school-based factor impacting student achievement is teacher quality and effectiveness. The research also points out the correlation between effective teachers and effective educational leaders. National, state, and local leaders and policymakers need to provide the conditions that enable and support the professional growth of teachers to ensure that every adult learner receives high quality instruction. The Massachusetts Educator Growth and Evaluation System is a critical component of the state's ongoing efforts to improve educator effectiveness. But it does take a village, or in this case, a theory of action. Teachers, program directors, and ACLS all have key roles to play in ensuring the success of our adult learners. The state needs to set clear expectations. Program directors need to establish a culture of continuous improvement and provide opportunities for growth. And teachers need to take advantage of learning opportunities to gain the knowledge and expertise needed in order to be effective in the classroom. Now that we know why the EGE system is important, Let's take a look at what it's all about. In a nutshell, the EGE is a five-step process to improve teachers' professional practice and help them become as effective as possible. The system is based on continuous improvement practices that typically lead to effectiveness in the classroom. Practices such as reflection and self-assessment, smart goal setting, developing a plan for professional development, actively participating in high quality professional development, and receiving constructive ongoing feedback. EGE is grounded in the Massachusetts Professional Standards for Teachers, which include three domains of teaching, knowledge, practice, and continuous improvement. Here you can see how the three domains are broken down into seven standards, which in turn are broken down into 18 indicators. Let's take a minute to explore the standards. If the chart on this slide is too small, use the one on page two of the assessment rubric. Find the continuous improvement domain. How many standards are in this domain? Correct, two. Can you name them? Yes, standard C1, growth mindset, and standard C2, reflective practice. Proficiency in each of the standards is measured by the corresponding indicators, which are in the level just below the standards. Let's take a quick peek at those. Find standard P2, instruction. What three indicators will measure proficiency in this standard? Correct. Proficiency in instruction 
will be determined by how effectively the teacher sets high expectations, engages all students, and meets the diverse needs of those students. As we just discussed, proficiency in the seven standards are measured by the indicators. The indicators will then fall into one of three categories or ratings, developing, proficient, or exemplary. These ratings focus on the amount of professional development needed by the teacher, significant, moderate, or minor. The ratings are also determined by the quality and relevance of the evidence that will be gathered throughout the five-step process. Limited evidence, sufficient evidence, or strong evidence. This is a sample section of the assessment rubric. This is where the standards and the indicators meet the ratings. The rubric identifies and describes what professional practice looks like in each of the rating categories. We refer to these as descriptors. They are measurable statements of actions and behaviors aligned to each professional practice. These help teachers and evaluators identify levels of performance within each indicator, which in turn determines a rating for the standard. Looking at this chart, what key words and phrases describe what proficiency looks like for the student engagement indicator? Did you choose consistently student-centered? Frequent opportunities to engage? Meaningful? Authentic? You will have more opportunities to explore the rubric in greater depth in Module 2.